I'm very unsure of myself most of the time, not certain if I'm saying the right things, if I am acting the right way, if I'm even supposed to be here, and it can all be very overwhelming. another FaceTime style video and we are going to get into a very popular topic jealousy envy let's talk about it but first shout out to all the ladies in the comment section in my last video felt I feel you I feel you so much every last one of you the comments are beautiful it's just such an amazing space in the comment section. Like y'all are making the comment section really dope. I wanted to talk about jealousy, envy. At 31 years old, it was revealed to me why this has been consistently happening to me in my life for the last 10 years. Jealousy, envy, why does it happen? Why is this even a thing? You have to understand that you are a mirror to people. When you're out here doing whatever you're doing, typically when people are jealous or envy of you, it's because you are something that they either want to be or deep down they know they could be, but they're not willing to do what it takes to be. So you're a mirror. You are a mirror to what they should be doing or what they're not doing, but could be doing, but for whatever reason they're not. You are a mirror to them and you trigger them. You trigger them with your discipline. You trigger them with your consistency. You trigger them with the fact that you study. You trigger them with the fact that you're willing to put in the extra work if that is what it takes to get what you want. You're willing to put in that extra work. You're willing to put in that extra time. You're willing to trust the process. You're willing to not be in a rush to get all of the materialistic things up front, but knowing that, oh, I'm gonna get it on the back end. I just have to keep at it. I have to keep being consistent and putting in that work and I'll get it. It's just not gonna be right now. But one day I'll get it. They hate that. You are a mirror to what they should be doing. You are a mirror to who they could be and you trigger them. So I noticed that every time in my life when I was dealing with jealousy, envy and it would always hit me out of nowhere it would always hit me out the blue i never would see it coming and it was because i always tried to be what i needed for others while pursuing these things and dealing with jealousy i tried to be what i needed i needed to feel supported i needed to feel cared for i needed people to believe in me i needed people to understand me i needed people to see me so i was very intentional i made it a point in all of my relationships to be that for said people but somehow i'm the one that got stabbed in the back i'm the one that got betrayed i'm the one that got fucked over and it was because I am a mirror. You are a mirror. This is why you deal with jealousy. This is why you deal with envy. This is why you deal with people who are mean to you for no reason. You've been nothing but supportive. You've been nothing but loving. You've been nothing but caring. You've been nothing but considerate. And you know you're like that because of your own experiences, because of how people treat you. So you make sure you see people, you make sure you care for people. You make sure you do whatever it takes to make these people feel seen, supported, and cared for because that's what you don't have. And these said people take advantage of you. They abuse your kindness. They think your kindness is a weakness. They hate the fact that you're genuine. They hate the fact that you're authentic. They hate the fact that you are who you are. You bring joy to a room. You bring laughter to a room. You bring things that these people are not. You are a mirror to who they either need to be or should be within themselves. And you bother them. You bother them to the core. You bother them. Yanni is free. I'm free because I don't care anymore. I used to care a lot. I used to care so much. I used to care so much because I thought all I had to do was treat people the way I wanted to be treated and I thought I was gonna get that back. And I never did, I never got it. And I developed this thought process because of my parents. And I love my parents so 
much. I love them so much. They did the best they could with what they had. And I will always be grateful, always. I developed people pleasing tendencies. I wanted to make my parents proud. I wanted to hear the words, I'm proud of you. I just wanted to hear that and I was willing to do whatever. I was willing to please them. I was willing to do whatever would make them happy to hear I'm proud of you because I never got that emotional connection from my parents. So it wasn't until I went to therapy and I realized I had been abandoned my entire life. And I started noticing that my parents are abandoned. They have been abandoned their entire life because the love that I wanted from them, the emotional connection that I wanted from them, they never got. So here I am in my adulthood with these people pleasing tendencies, getting fucked up by the way. <laughs> Just getting messed up, being put through the ringer. But you know what? I wouldn't change a thing because it has shaped me into the woman that I am today and I'm grateful for that. And I don't think my identity would be the same. I think my identity would be different. So I, I don't fault these things. I'm not mad. This is why you are dealing with jealousy and envy. You are a mirror. And to those, you are an inspiration. Only to those that are truly on a journey of self-improvement, you are an inspiration. But to others, you are a mirror. Who would have thought being a light meant that there's a darkness to it. Who would have thought that there is duality to being a light to those who seek inspiration? There's always a dark side to everything in this life. There's duality in everything. Within this last season of my life, that was revealed to me as well. Like there's light, there's dark. There's duality in everything. So I have to be okay with that. So if I'm gonna be an inspiration, I have to understand that I'm also going to deal with jealousy. If I'm gonna be a light, if I carry a light within myself and people see my light, I'm going to attract, I'm going to be magnetic for a lot of different people. People in good spaces and people in bad spaces. People that really wanna do the improvement and people who don't. So I'm going to attract a lot of different energies and a lot of different people. And I gotta be ready for that. You have to be ready for that because that's just what comes with it. There's duality in everything. So because of that, you just have to roll with the punches. I think Candace Owens said, <laughs> put on a helmet and I love that. So I'm making this video to the girls that question, why do I always deal with jealousy? Why do I always deal with envy? I don't understand. I'm so nice, I'm so caring, I'm so thoughtful, I'm so considerate. I try to be everything that I need for others, yet I'm still dealing with jealousy and envy. This is why, this is why. You are a light, but you are also a mirror and you will trigger those that are not on path, you will trigger those that should be doing the things that you're doing or exhibiting some of the characteristics that you carry, like discipline, consistency. You trigger them. And I just want you to know that you are a mirror. So when you see these people that are jealous of you, you see these people that are envious of you. They see who they could be in you. They see what they need to do and they're just not doing it. And it's not your fault. There's nothing that you can do. You can't do anything. And the reason why this was revealed to me was because I have finally reached a point in my self-love journey where I saw myself. Like the amazing part of myself. Cause I had a hard time seeing the amazing part of myself because my parents never praised me. My parents rarely celebrated me. And it wasn't that they didn't think highly of me or that they weren't proud of me or that they didn't love me. They just didn't know how to express it. So because of that, I just didn't think that highly of myself. So when I started thinking more highly of myself, when I really truly started to love myself, I started seeing why people were jealous of me. I started seeing why people were envious of me. I started seeing greatness within myself. I started seeing the characteristics within myself that have helped me along my journey and how it has impacted my journey in such a positive way. I started seeing the greatness in me and I fell in love. I fell so in love because I love the girl that got me to this point. She was suicidal, she was lost, she didn't know who she was. She got me to this point and I love her so much. I love the little girl in me as well because she was a dreamer. She had an imagination out of this world. I love that little girl. She dreamed 
and she drained me. So I love her. I love the girl that went through a lot of shit. She went through a lot of spiraling. At one point I had spiraled real bad and the girl that spiraled got her out of that spiral. I love that girl. When I say I started to see me for the first time and I fell in love with her. I had a man the other night that asked me, he asked me the question, he said, would you marry yourself today? Like right now, you should have saw my eyes. I sparked up, my eyes are like, ah! Yes, I would, but like right now, I would do it in a heartbeat. I would, I would do it right now. I couldn't say that about myself a year ago. I couldn't say that about myself two years ago. I couldn't even say that about myself three years ago. But I can say it today. I would marry myself because I have fallen in love. And when you fall in love with yourself, you start to understand like why people be hating. You start to understand why people be jealous. You start to understand why people be envy. Cause like you in love. So you can only imagine how people on the outside feel. So it just comes with the territory. If you're on a journey of improving your life, you're on a journey of leveling up your life. And it's not always materialistic things. It's not always the perfect body the clear skin. It could just be your spirit. It could just be your energy. It could just be your career. It could just be the car you drive, the house you live in. It could just be your lifestyle. It could be the fact that you come from a good family. You have a loving family. It could be that you have a partner that just adores you. It does not take much. It could be your humor, your personality, how people gravitate towards you. It does not have to be anything tangible just a mirror. It just has to be a mirror to who these people want to be, could be, or you're just a mirror for what they should be doing. And you trigger them. So I hope this helps being a mirror and how it leads to jealousy and envy. And there's nothing you can do about it. You shouldn't dim your light. You shouldn't change yourself. You shouldn't do anything. You should keep existing in a world that's constantly trying to tell you who to be, but just keep existing. Be yourself, and if it comes with jealousy, if it comes with envy, understand why. You're a mirror. But that's your role, that's your purpose in this world, is to be a mirror for those, to inspire those that will receive it. Not everyone is gonna receive your inspiration. They're not. Some people are just gonna be flat out jealous of the mirror that you hold. That's not the role that you were supposed to play in their life. You were supposed to inspire them to get on their shit. But for whatever reason, they refuse to do the work. They refuse to get on path. And so now the only thing they can do is be a hate ass outside the club when they could be inside the club kicking in with you. But that's not your business. That's not your problem. That's on them. Because they could be exactly where you are. They choose not to be. So you can't worry about them. You just gotta focus on yourself. That's all that I have for this FaceTime chat. And comment down below though, you've been dealing with this mirror? How long? Cause once it was revealed to me that I'm a mirror, I started realizing like, damn, this low key been happening my whole life. I mean, I can go all the way back to when I played basketball. This mirror been on me for a while. So comment down below. I hope this brings you some peace and some clarity. I really do because I just felt so confused and I was asking Spirit, I'm like, Spirit, why does this keep happening to me? Why? I just wanted to know. Spirit revealed it to me. Why? And I was like, wow. I was just so amazed. And in the process, I was able to see myself because it was almost like Spirit held up a mirror to me. And this whole time, I've been a mirror to everybody else. And I was finally able to see myself. That's when I fell in love with myself. I imprinted on myself. I adore myself. And that's how it all started. So I wanted to share with you where my self-love comes from. How did I get here? And once you realize you are a mirror to others, and then you call out to spirit and you say, spirit, why does this keep happening to me? God, why does this keep happening to me? God gonna hold up that mirror to you. And you gonna see why. You gonna see why. You are going to see why and you will be blown away. It's a beautiful experience. That's my jealousy and envy story. It's not your typical jealousy and envy story because a lot of people are like, this girl, she jealous of me. This girl, she was hating on me. She envious of me. From a spiritual standpoint, you're a mirror. Embrace it. To the right people, you will be an inspiration. 
that's all that I have regarding this video. Give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next one.